Hey there guys, I of course am the one and only Snakely artist. That's right, I'm an artist now. Well, I've always been an artist. But as always, you guys can just call me Snakely. So, I'm very happy right now guys. I know it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded anything. <laughs> it's really been a hot minute since I've uploaded anything. It's just like I haven't had time. But I'm on holiday now and I'm making time. And what better way to make time because I just received a package. A package from my friend and this package happened to contain some very, very interesting contents. Very interesting. It's Bakugan in case you haven't guessed. <laughs> but it's like a lot of Bakugan and I'm like really thankful to him. So today I'm going to be going into some of the Bakugan. He said me there is way too many to cover in one video. People, I swear to God, if you say I was covering one, I would die once. I would die. <laughs> it's just so much. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'm going to be diving into three. Um, it's all the loose things for now. All the package things is so in the box it's still close apart from one one geo gun that i opened i tried to do an unboxing for him but i don't know it just didn't go well i'll, I'll still of course have him included when i actually do geo gun but yeah let's go um, there's like three bags of loose things there's cards there's cores and gate cards and then there's the bakugan themselves so yeah that's what we're going. That's what we're going to be going to today. Oh my gosh, what I'm doing? Yeah, it's the sound of the book. Oh my. Um, okay, it's it's like too heavy. Give me a second. I'll put you guys back. One second. This is the box of stuff I was sent. So yeah. No way this is going to be in one video. But 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 but. We have these three bags, we're gonna be going with these three people, so... Well, let's get ready to do it. Okay then, so guys, we are here, I have my flash on, so there's like a list of shadows. And before you ask why I have a book open right now and I'm gonna be doing background, it's because... I realize that this book's paper is much more of a better surface than the glass on this table, so... That's the reason why I'm doing it on on glass no not on glass that's why the reason i'm doing it on a book anyways i said we have three bags and we're going to start with the bakugan bag now the other bags it's gonna be like really fast but for now we're just gonna dive into this i have no clue how long this is gonna be but if my previous video records track we're gonna be here for a hot second so yeah, you see already some of them are open. There's like 11 Bakugan in here and like the character cards are in this bag. And then this is all of the loose cards I was talking about. But yeah, so I'm going to open this and get them out. And I'll come back to you after that. Oh, and I, I might just, I might grab the cards and everything out of this bag too. Um, I'll see, like just ignore. My space is a little busy right now, so yeah. Yeah, you already saw the one geo gun I opened there, but yeah, my space is a bit busy. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back to music. Okay, guys, so here we have all of the Bakugan. I took them out of the bag over there. I took them out of the bag over there and I just laid them all out here. I put my book to the side for a second just so we can look at all the character cards so you can see which ones my friend sent me. So, starting from left to right, going this way, that way, and ending with the last one down here, we have starting us all. Oh my god. Wait, wait let me get cores out also. Let me get out all the cores. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. Okay, so guys, I went ahead and also took out the fat stack of cores and the ginormously thick stack of gate cards that I asked for as well like the cores are for every single Bakugan that you will see here and the gate cards they're just something extra I asked for because I don't have gate cards at all so bonus okay yeah but as I was saying from left to right we are starting with focus okay there we go Pyrus Fresco from Geogun Rising and as you can see here she has a magic shield and a regular shield one of the best pyrus pack gun currently she has 400b 
more damage and on a magic shield she gets another plus 400 so do the math really quick that is about 1450 if you're using a 650 magic shield course so one of the best um and right next to her we have someone that i don't know might not be that bad or maybe he is i don't know depends on how you're using but we have pyrus maxedon from armored alliance he is a double helix Bakugan. He has 200B, 2 damage, and on a helix, plus 300B and plus 2 damage. Should I show you guys the thing with, like, when I do it? Because like, I'm still going to do an opening and everything. Cause, eh, we'll come back to it. Um, right next to him, we have a Chaos Trox Ultra. From Armor Alliance 2. He's a magic shield Bakugan with a regular fist, 800B and 2 damage, one of the best Chaos Bakugan currently. And moving right along, we have a Bakugan that's fairly decent. We have Oralus Trox Ultra from Armored Alliance. He is a shield first Bakugan, 600B and 5 damage so most you can get out of this guy like let's say you're using a magic shield is about 1250 so not bad and then right next to him we have a very very good orange back gun like maybe the maybe one of the best i own thanks to my friend he it is um, Aurelis Dragonoid Ultra from Geogun Rising. He is a double helix back gun. Sicko. Ugh, God, I miss trucks. Please don't draw. I'm already messing up so much. I'm so sorry. Just let me put this guy down for a second. Okay, he's down. Um, he is a double helix back gun with 600B and 6 damage with a Victor search ability. And with this guy using a either a helix plus 600 minus 3, I believe. Yeah, I'm right. I think I'm right. You can get him up to 12. So, that is good. That is very good for me, especially with something a Geo Gun I order because I want to use that Geo Gun and this guy is mine. So, yeah, awesome back gun. And moving right back, we have a very good Darkest back gun. Thanks for the focus camera. We have Darkest Nullius from Amra Lines. A shield flame first with 405. Um, you all already know about this guy. His evolution is broken because it's a rapid fire evolution. God, like. Moving on, we have Heios Hydra's core. What am I saying core for? Ultra. Sorry. Um, he is not the best stat wise. I will admit he has a regular first and a shield with 506 so most you're gonna get out of this guy is about 1150 if you're using a magic shield and only 900 if you're using his given shield but why did i why did i ask for this guy or why did he give it to me well i mentioned that hydrus i'm sorry if i'm doing finger names i just like doing this hydrus is one of my favorite molds from armored alliance specifically him and his baku gear which my friend included. So yeah, I've got Heos Hydrus with the wings of Arcos. Or wings of Heos since he is Heos right now. And okay, yeah, moving right along. No, nothing more to be said about this guy. I just, I like the mold. Um, okay, so next we have the best Arcos Bakugan in the game. Y'all all know him and love him. Or if he's used against you, fear him. We have Arcos Hydrus Core from Armored Alliance. R.I.P. Hydrus. R.I.P. everyone who hibernated at the end of Armor Alliance. I will miss you guys. But yeah, anyways, he's a Helix first Bakugan. 404. I know what you're thinking. Not the good stats. But then this is where he kills. Plus 500 and plus 5 on a Helix. So, do the math. This guy can basically hit you for about... 16 yeah but what am i saying 16 15 b worth about six damage if i'm doing my math right 
and that is only if you have one helix so if you like play a consort say you're using with Heyos, you use consort grab another one yeah you're gonna start killing your opponent but yeah really happy to get this guy like really and then moving on we have a background who again i think has a cool mold regardless of stats i don't care we have Ventus Fangzor and Mantanoid. Now I'm gonna flip this over so you can also see the fusion version. But he's a double she a what am I saying? She a double fist background with 700 B1 damage, not that good, I know. And six to fuse a bit pricey, and especially with the stats. 700 isn't bad, but like it's the cause it comes with that like, keeping it back like if it had a magic shield or something to boost it like quite a bit that would help it a lot like say it had a helix or something that would be good but like 700 so slap a magic shield on this and you've got about let me do some basic math really quick about 1350 but flipping him over here is his fusion version Still got the two fists, unfortunately, but he is now 1500 and one. So, 1500, use that same magic shield I just talked about, and you've got 2150. So, his fusion makes up for it if only it wasn't so high. But regardless, I still love the mold. Again, I'm gonna show you all the molds when I'm rolling because I don't want to roll on this glass table because it sucks. I'm gonna roll on this book instead because it actually, I tried it, it works well. Um, and then right next to him, another fusion, one of the three fusions that are here. Um, we have Hydrus, Aquas Hydrus, and Trino Ultra. Um, a 500 to, oh yeah, and this is Ventus Heos when it's fused, by the way. Don't know why I didn't say that. 500 B, 2 damage, and 2 to fuse. Magic Shield, 500 B, so already you've got the 1150. Not the best in the game currently but it's definitely up there like if it was just a hundred more aces but already like i am not saying 1150 is bad 1150 is not bad like and they still cards to boost it so plus it's cheap to fuse also so that's also a huge plus the first is a drawback but like his stats are really not bad um okay flipping him over and fusing him he keeps the shield but look at that look 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 at this look at this 500 700 so basically he's giving himself an extra 200 b for that two energy you're fusing him use it again magic shield what do you get 1350 already a hundred better than what i was saying and only for two cost not a bad bakugan at all and would make me want to use a fusion if i did but I don't use fusions, <laughs> but I might start because who knows, who knows. But yeah, moving on for him, he's an Aquas Orlus fusion, by the way. And then our final, um, sing, our final loose back gun that my friend sent me is a Pegatrix, an Orlus Pegatrix and Gilator Core. It is the regular version, not their exclusive version, but <laughs> that is the exclusive, yeah, exclusive version. That comes in that other battle pack because those packs are not, what am I saying? Yeah, they're not available here, but this is the only one my friend had, and I'm still really happy I got this because I really like this mold. Again, one of my favorites. One of my favorites from Armor Alliance. He is a, or they, because that's a girl, that's a guy, so I might just say they, and plus it's two things, so they works. They are a shield and a first bakugan with 400 b and 2 damage not the best stats most you're gonna get out of this is 1050 with a magic shield which is decent it's decent but where the sky where they pale um in b power and we oh yeah, only two damage so yeah where they pale in like stat wise they make up for in having to fuse because as you can see to fuse you don't pay oh my god focus please you don't pay an energy you either go on a shield or a fist which are both of its cores so easy fusion don't have to pay a thing can be done turn one so boom and like depending on what you grab you can boost him like a but let's let's see the fusion first before i start singing praises 
and there we go mm, mm, no you see like i was right to be singing praises like okay imagine this you go on a on a heos and pyrus plus 400 shield you fuse and then instead of 800 you have 12 which is already uh, it's already good like 12 3 damage damage not bad like b power excellent like 12 is what we like to see because this one kills people nowadays so 12 is what we like to see from something and this guy delivers on that so good on you i will definitely make a plan to use you in some way somehow in the future maybe no promises <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so then that was all of the Bakugan. That was a Bakugan segment of this. I'm gonna do the cores and gate cards next. And then I'm gonna do all the cards that were sent to me, the cards right here. And I'll do the extra stuff that was included in the bag with these things. So, yeah, let's go. Oh my god, and it's already getting lengthy, people. I told you my track record makes things long. Let's do this. Oh god, it took a long while. And I'm talking with my hands because you guys can see me. Oh my god, I'm just gonna go now and I'm dragging on. Okay, on to the next part. Okay, then, guys, so we are back, and here we have the core and gate card. And like right after this, I'm gonna do rolling for all these guys because I know you all want to see them pop out, even though there's a high possibility you've already seen them pop out. But, anyways, let's get into this. So, starting off, I'm just gonna be doing this randomly because there's quite a few, and I really don't wanna have to take time with this. So, my phone is like just vibrating like crazy right now because, like, I'm getting notification. Anyways. Let's do it. So we have a um, plus 100 plus 3 damage. We have a plus 100 and for Ventus and Heos, we get plus 3, a plus 3 um, damage, minus 1 damage, plus 3 damage, minus 1 gear, plus 1 damage, minus 2 gear, fusion, plus 5 damage, um, plus 150B, plus 2 damage, plus 50B, plus 2. That core is very questionable. Plus 300. Oh, we got two plus 300 plus threes a fusion plus 300 and two frost strike um a plus 500 minus one really good and a plus shadow strike that's our helixes those are the shields but th those are the first by the way these are our helixes let's do magic shield next there's only three fusion plus 800 plus 600 b and minus 500 b a very decent trap for an opponent and let's move on to regular shields Plus 200B, plus 250B, plus 150, plus 1B, um, plus 200B, fusion, get an extra plus 200. Pyrus, Ventus, get plus 400. Really good for me because Pyrus and Ventus are my main factions that I use. And the only first, the only flaming first we have is a plus 5 damage. Um, and for the gate cards, we have the Enoch gate. It's plus, it um, is gate 2. I'm not going to read the effects. You guys can just pause and see the effects. Because there's quite a few and I don't want to have to waste time on this. But we have um, gate 2. That's the Enoch one. Gate 3. That's the Hypogothion. Um, gate 4. I swear I did not arrange this. This is just our gate. Gate 4. Um, we have Nobilius. Um, gate 6. We have... Um, Sabra X Paravian um, Gate 7 We have Hydrus With an Energizer Bakugia I believe um, Yeah that's Gate 7 um, Here We have uh, Gate 8 And it's Halko X Ramparian um, Gate 9 Can I think focus? Yeah Gate 9 We have Cyrus with a bunch of gear uh, focus focus gate 10 we have feral excalator gate 11 we have drago x threat gate 21 we have a normal threat um gate 22 we have a guillotor with his bug yeah i can't remember the name gate 23 we have paravian gate and our final gate card is gate 26 with a batrix so yeah i'm gonna do a quick shot again i'm just gonna pan through this so you all can just pause and read your picks 
if you haven't already because there's honestly too much for me to read through okay now that that's been done i'm gonna now roll these guys so stay tuned for that part okay guys so we are back i took away some of the cores because we do not need all of them and now i'm gonna start rolling so if i remember correctly i'm not gonna do this no but the first one i mentioned was fresco so focus please i'm gonna start with fresco um now let me see if i'm right about this being smoother there we go kenji double core maybe if i just uh, if i try and like force it i'm just gonna Oh, 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 oh. Fresco is OP people. What if this had been both of these magic shields? Now that would have been trouble. Plus a thousand each. Oh my god, she scares me. Okay, so that was Fresco. She don't stay. Oh god, I'm just place it. Thank you. Thank you, Fresco. Um, next, who are we gonna open? Let's do it randomly and look at it. Okay, so next apparently we have our Fangs or X Mantanoid. Um, and let me just get his positioning all lined up. Whoop, god dang, messed it up. Um, let's try it. Okay, three, two, one. And of course he missed. Okay, three, two, one. You didn't pick up a core. I'm gonna redo that really quick. Give me a second to close this. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this again. There we go. Yeah, so this is our Fangzor X Mantanoid. A really long boy that can do this. And can he actually double core? I, I don't know. I don't believe so. Oh, dang, he can. Well. Everyone is wrong at some point. Let's just put him over here with Frasco. And let me just fix this back up like really quick. And let's again do this at random. Okay, we got Maxodon next. Actually, I believe Maxodon was after Frasco, but I just did it. Okay, never mind. I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just roll this guy out and check him out. Roll out and check out. Damn it, I should have said that, but anyways. Um, three, two, one. Awesome. Like, let me just check. <clears throat> mm, you know, guys, this is one of those moments where you fall in love with something. And I'm falling in love with Maxism right now. It's, oof, look at that. Look at all that power he just collected. Yeah, anyways, let's look at this elephant, people. Mm, 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 focus, please, focus. Look at him, look at his long trunk and his longer body with like all of his legs just being like right here and it's like a really short. I, I think these are his ears if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. But focus, focus please. He's a cool background nonetheless and he can double core so awesome stuff. So yeah, I know I didn't do that at random, so play whatever, doesn't matter, we're gonna roll them all out anyways. But let us take a crack at this guy. It is Heos Trox Ultra, focus please. Okay, three, two, one. Perfect stand, and Trox not feeling like it today, but he can do it very easily, so that is a good boy. And his mouth does this when he opens, so I don't know, that's cool too. Now let me just fold out his arms and everything, feet included. There we have our boy people. Now I already I have the diamond Trox Ultra, but this one is much better in stats, so focus. Happy to have him. Look at that. Look at that mouth. Okay, let's move on. Don't wanna take too much time. Because I know this is already pretty lengthy. Um let's somewhat do the other chaos. Again, we're gonna just 
try and make this somewhat decent like really quick hydras 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 let's roll him out hydras ultra chaos three two one and bakugan brock perfect stand people him and drops perfect stand boom so oh, oh. He somehow showed me double cross, so at least we know that. But boom, there he is. There he is, and he does have manual feet. So I don't know. Let me do that quickly. And yeah, here he is. As I said, he's my favorite. He's one of my favorite molds from Umbra Line. So I'm really happy to have him. And really quick, let me just equip him with his back gear. Okay, so here we have him all tricked out with his gear, people. Wings of Arc was looking so. Forgive me for the pun, but he be looking so fly. That was a horrible joke. I apologize deeply for that, but yeah, anyways, here's Hydras with the wings of Aquas, or in this case, wings of Heos. Let's move on to our next faction, which is gonna be the golden shiny faction of Aurelis. And let us start with the first Aurelis boy we saw, and that would be. Aurelis trucks. I have no clue why I'm saying Aurelis like that. I guess it's just how I say Aurelis. I'm just joking. That's not how I say Aurelis. <laughs> oh dang, maybe it is. Anyways, let me try this 3 2 1 back on Bro, of course, he's gonna fail. It's because I said Aurelis like that, isn't it? He heard me. Okay, 3 2 1 back on Bro. There we go. And I'm just flip out his arms like really quick and I'll just test TV double cores and I'll move on because like why not? Why? Okay, can double core, that's good. Strong magnet, love the golden paint. Focus please. Is this camera really not gonna focus? Oh god, I almost said almost said the focus. Ah there we go. Look at look at his paint, look at the um. focus, focus, focus. Um, yeah, look at the detailing on his face and all just the golden paint all around. There's the arrow and everything and yeah, chunky boy. Now let's move on to the next. And the next order of the background we're going to be looking at, oh my god, wait, I didn't say it correctly. The next Aurelis background we're going to be looking at is Aurelis, a Dragonoid, a Geogon Rising, what might be one of my favorite seasons. Oh, my favorite season. I don't know. Okay, let's just do this. And I'm um, 3, 2, 1, back again. Bro. Let's redo that. Then, uh, 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 you didn't want to open the core. We're redoing it. Um, okay. 3, 2, 1, back again, bro. There we go. Mmm. -hmm. Um, he has like very, very tough manual arms, so I'm just move them forward really quick. Struggle, the struggle is real, people. Mm, okay, there we go. Here he is, not the chonkiest boy around. His body actually splits in half, so it spares him from that. But he got them thick thighs and them tiny arms. Very reminiscent of Ultra from Wave 1, from not Wave 1, from Battle Planet, am I right? Ah, uh, you see, he agrees with me. But yeah, like, this might be one of my favorite Dragonoid core molds, maybe, possibly. I just love the look of it and the fact that they incorporated this. Like, I know the first one did it, but like, the one on this one is so much better. And yeah, let's appreciate the golden paint and everything, and let's move on! There's the lineup currently, and we've only got... Hmm, I just covered Chaos and Aurelis, so it only makes sense that I cover the combination of the two. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Mm, somewhat fix this, somewhat fix this, and let's do a rollout really quick. Um, roll back and three, two, one, back down, bro. Mm, I love the way this thing stands. Um, yeah, we've got Pegatrix X, Dilator, Orlis Chaos, Can Double Go, that's good to know, and Long, Long with some large wings. 
my grandfather actually saw this and he said it reminded him of a helicopter so helicopter back again that's what i'm gonna call this nothing more to say to that you already know i like the gold paint and everything just helicopter back again that is your role now <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry for this guys okay moving on we have let's do aquas next and then we'll cover aquas oralis since i covered oralis already then we'll end off with the darkest boy um so yeah <laughs> fixing 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 and um rolling back rolling back rolling back three two one back come bro that flip was violent of me i apologize here is high jurus a core focus focus yeah there we go there's hydra's core with these tiny tiny paws even tinier there at the back um let's like look at the nice painting all around he's a core so like nothing that interesting the main thing about this guy is stats and his stats kill and something that I actually find quite funny is he's not completely awkward. Can this camera focus up at once? Um, if you can kind of see the if this camera would focus once in my life, um, let me try this. I think this is best I'm gonna get it, but you can see here he has like a little bit of white paint, so maybe he has some hay or blood flowing in him. I still love him nonetheless though, even if he's a bit hey or see. That why did why do I say things? Moving on. Um yeah, so here we have Hydrus X Trino and um, Golden Paint all around very nice. Let's roll him back so we can roll him out. Roll out and check out, yeah. Dang, why am I not saying that? Roll out and check out. Let's do this. 3, 2, 1, Bakugan. No, no, no. I should have said this for the other ones too, but I didn't, but let's say it now. Faction Fusion. There we go, people. Here he is with all of his might. Hydra 6 Rhino Ultra. Silver paint and gold paint look really nice. The aquas is aquas and oralis go kind of well together. Um, I, I like it, I'd say. And um, here's his oh, out of focus. Here's his two horns, his little face. Sorry if it's out of focus, guys. Like, camera does not want to focus, but yep, 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 yep. Um, his B power is way. The last time I checked, oh, it's on his leg there. Okay, and to end off the background rollouts, we have Darkest Millis. So let's do this really quick, guys, because I can tell this is lengthy. 3, 2, 1, and Bakugan, bro. Bakugan, stand, bring the pain, Millis, bring the pain. And can you double stand? Can you double go? If you can, you can bring the pain. He's bringing the pain. Yeah. yeah. Dang it. Yeah, let me flip out his leg quickly. Yeah, here he is, the main darkest boy himself, the only darkest boy in this entire thing, a darkest Amelius core with the broken evolution. I forgot to mention Hydrus's diamond evolution is also broken, but we're not talking about that now, we're talking about him. Look at his exit, dang it, focus. Ah, okay, look at his blurred excellence. Okay, let's move on, guys. There's like only one more thing I gotta do. So, let's do a quick cut. Let me move the cores. I'm gonna leave them there. Let's do a quick cut and let's. Oh my god, wait. I just realized we still gotta do the cards. I'm dead. I didn't know this video was gonna be long as fuck. So, oh my, what did I just say? I might cut that out. <laughs> I don't know. This video is going to be long. That's all I know. So let's just move on. 
Okay, so for cards, guys, we have quite a thick stack. So let's blow through this like it's no one's business. Um, we have one Pyru Energy. I'm not gonna read the effects. There's too many cards for me to read out the effects. I am sorry. You can pause and look at yourself. I'm just gonna say the names. Pyro Energizer and the cost if I have to. Pyro Energizer, Dark Pyro Energizer, Py. Yeah, that's Pyrus. Pyrus Energizer, Darkus Energizer, Py Pycus Energizer, Hey Hey Artis Energizer. We got three of them. We got Heotic Booster. Two of those. A Silent Spears. A Baku, a Baku Thrusters. We got two of those. Aqua Burst, we got two of those Vent Tornado, two of those Stealth Thruster, Baku Mortar, Ventu Channeler, Ventu Smashers, Bolt Bow, got three of these Guardian Wings, um, we've got about two of those Heyo Braces, got three of these we've got Heyo slashers um we've got three of these um dark daggers three of them scorching swords we've got three of them pyrostoma mm, two of those rocket braces um pyro ammo oh yeah two Rocket, is it two? Yeah, it's two rocket braces. Um, Pyro Hammer got three of those. Pyro Cannon, we have three of these, and this is where we get into the normal card. This is these were cards he added extra for me, and like I'm so happy because I don't have any gears at all. But now we move into the cards, the cards I actually asked for. Um, so we've got firstly Dan Kuzo, a BB. This is my second copy, so now I have two of him. I'm happy. Um, we've got Two hyper dragonoids. We've got um three hyper mantroid ultras from BB. Um one hex and then two irregular. Um we've got a Winton Styles BB, my second copy, so now I have two of him too. Um my baby Winton from AA. Um now I have let me just check quickly. Yeah, I have Dan and Winton and Leah because Leah is in here. I have Dan Winton and Leah from AA. So yeah, moving on. We have Leah Venegas and we've got a one, a two, and a three Leah Venegas, meaning I now have everything for Maximus deck. Then we've got the AA Leah I mentioned just now. We've got two, um, a D, we've got Strata, we've got Three Stratas, we've got Shargo Rodan, a Hex, and a Regular. We have Hyper Gargoyle Ultra, a Hex, a Regular, and another Regular, meaning there's a playset. Let me just organize, organize this now. Like, this is getting pretty thick. Um, Titan Pegatrix, I now have two of these. Um, Titan Lilius, two of these here, um, one normal, one Hex, I now have a playset. Hypernilius Ultra, two of these, um, Magnus BB, um, first one him, and Lightning, we have, um, Lightning BB, um, we've got three of him, meaning there's a playset, then we've got Lightning Resurgence, two of him, um, three of him, sorry, and then also we have Focus. A body breaker, an orderless card. Finally, my life has meaning. Um, hyper pegatrix. I have a lot of this now, but I don't care. I have like four, so only one extra. Um, a hyper trox. I wish I had the socks. I have to get it. Like, my friend had it, but he gave me sold to someone else, and I don't mind. Like, I'll just buy another one because I did see him in the store somewhere. Don't know if he's still there, but if I can get him, cool. If I can't. Eh, these are the order spec we're going out there. Mm, some might even be better than this. I know Spartillion is definitely going to be better whenever he comes out in my country. Hopefully. Moving on. Hyperthrox. Yeah. Um, Aquas cards. We have a Hypercrichelios. We have two of those. One Hex. One Normal. We've got a Maggie. We've got an Aquastrata from um, 
BB. We've got three of him. We've got Masato Kizami from a BB. We've got Everett Ray. This guy sucks as a character. Well, in the show, he's just a genuine person whose attitude can be fun at times, but it also makes you want to hate the guy. Um, Everett Ray, BB. I've got one, um, two of him, one normal, one hex. Um, and then Shunkazami with Surgeons, one, two, and three. And that is, let me just check real quick, yeah. Um, two regular, one hex. And then Shunkazami BB, I've got one, two, and three of him. Um, or regulars. Then we have a Toshi, a Bakunali Toshi. And then as for the last few cards we have, these are all rerolls. Um, we have a deep dive hex. A regular deep dive and another regular deep dive and another deep dive and another deep dive that's right my friends in the, i'm so happy um so we've got like what was that like four regular deep dives and a hex so meaning i have five copies no, and i don't mind that whatsoever um dark waters we've got one two three four five and six so two full play sets of dark waters and that was all the cards blew through it pretty fast dear me Whew. and now i'm going to do the last bit of things that i was sent so give me a sec okay then guys so to end off all the loose things i was sent stickers and a but oh my god there's actually one more thing that i left in the box that i will show off at the end of this because technically classifies as loose um, we have the Pegatrix sticker, and these are all Armored Alliance stickers. So we have the Pegatrix sticker, the Pharaoh sticker, the Hull, the Hydra sticker, the Nullius sticker, and the Drago sticker. I don't know where's the Throck sticker, or if anything, but I'm just glad we have five out of six. I don't mind that. And plus, I got a pin, a Buckgum pin. I love it. So yeah, um, these five stickers and the pin, and then the last thing I want to show you is wait for it, wait for it. He also sent me the poster that came in the box with the pins. So I'm definitely gonna hang this in my room, but I'm not home currently, so it's just gonna stay in the box for now, but I love it. It's awesome. And check out all these cool guns. Yeah. Definitely awesome. Okay, and that is all of the loose stuff guys i actually got through that loose stuff and what did it take me probably an hour i don't know well, i'll be back in a second when i'm editing the check over so see y'all in the outro quick shout out everything so yeah guys that was all of the loose stuff i was sent from my friend i don't know how many times i can say thank you but god damn it i'm gonna say thank you again thank you so much dude like if you are watching this end part i know this video is insanely long but that's how much stuff there was and i am mm, god you gonna make me cry man i almost did when i got this box i was so excited jesus the... tears are forming in my eye i'm not even joking my eyes are literally getting wet i'm actually gonna cry because of this it's just so great no, I don't want to make this a minute of me crying over how awesome this is because there's still more stuff like there is so much stuff I am going to be recording for hours on end. I am both thankful and I really hate that because that's going to be a lot of editing but it's a lot of stuff so thank you. Holy shit y'all I've never seen me this emotional have you? <laughs> Neither have I people. Neither have I. I did not know it was possible for me to feel so much joy in one day. Although I guess technically it's the day after because I'm recording this afternoon. I'm getting into statistics and I want to get into statistics. Point being, really thankful for my friend. This was all the loose stuff. I'm still going to cover everything else because there's a bunch more stuff. Like the Geogun, I have like four different Geogun. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them all in one video or make it separate. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Depending on what happens, I might just do them all together since I already opened one. So, might as well put them all together in one video, talk about them all at once, and move on with my life because there is still some other things I gotta talk about. I also might do a commentary video because now that I have Geogun, I have the right to talk about Geoforge Dragon. Like, so, yeah. 
expect more unboxing of a lot of other stuff again this is how big the box is so expect a lot of unboxings from stuff in that box an unboxing within a box I'm blowing my mind right now. Anyways, I have been the one and only Snakely. Y'all have been a fan, flippantastic audience, for sitting through me with this whole thing. Like, honest to God, thank you so much if you made it this far. And if you made it this far, leave a comment or something just to let me know because I know how long this is and I know how long I talk. I talk a lot. Especially in my discussion with the See, I'm rambling now. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Point being, I have been the one and only a uh, Snakely. Yeah, I'm just going by Snakely. The one and only Snakely. Y'all have been a fan flip fantastic audience. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos coming very soon. Maybe a week or so after, depending on how I decide to upload. Coming after this, and of course, do not forget to answer the call to a brawl. And bye, guys. And make the background say bye, but there's way too many of them for me to do that shit. So I'm just gonna say bye. Okay, bye, be bumpy, sumpy, spoopy, bye, bye. Why did, why did I do a piece of bye? Oh, and little tidbit, guys, in case you were wondering what was that drawing underneath all the Bakugan stuff, it was just this little drawing I made of a miraculous superhero. For those of you who might watch Miraculous later, but it's my own miraculous little jack of miraculous. I like how it turned out. Miraculous is a uh, wristband that you wear on your shoulders. He's wearing your shoulder. Kwame's name is Jax. He's the Kwame of Chaos. And yeah, that's really all I want to say about this because this channel is not about miraculous. <gasps> Let me know if I should make a channel about miraculous because you know, we'll talk about. Days. Okay, that's really it for this drawing. 